Okay, uh, day 177. Um, I'm trying to pick the most nondescript background I can. Um, I'll move over here. Um, so with Robin Gritz again tonight, uh, we've got obviously Task Force talking with her. Uh, we had Bernie Bridges earlier. Uh, so it, it does appear that Robin was um, two things um, in the center of two major terrorist investigations. One in Newark, where the uh, obvious, uh, the, the famous uh, mosque is, which is kind of a hub of criminal activity. Again, 95% of the people, great, devout Muslims, 5% running this uh, color of law operation. It's almost like having criminals under cover, cover of law. Uh, Andy was using and then the second one is going to be in the Washington field office near the Al Hijraj mosque Which we talked about earlier. So those are the two It just so happens that Andy McCabe and Robin Gritz's careers just kind of go in this lockstep and she keeps getting moved as she gets gets closer I'm sorry about the wind um, so Bottom line is I confirmed with her tonight. I thought that there was she was moved out of Newark for uh for interdicting the uh, the uh, port activity, the, the, I really am sorry about the wind. Uh, the port activity, bringing people in illegally. We talked about the you know travel workers identification cred credential, the the, the TWIC, uh, and it turns out yes, indeed, she did interdict three uh, Algerian terrorists that were on the international terrorist watch list, Interpol terrorist watch list. And that was the whole deal. The whole Egyptian pilot thing, the training, we believe that there's a western, west of Albany, New York, there was a training field. There's one here in Chicago we talked about earlier, largest private airfield. We're not gonna say Pilwaukee, we're not gonna say the word Pilwaukee, but we're, we are gonna say there was certain key airfields that kind of became the, these key training airfields for these Egyptian pilots. Was Robin Gritz about ready to break that? We don't know because she got moved to Washington field office, <laughs> excuse me, but it was no solution because then she got in in and all around the uh, Iran deal, the Iran nuclear deal. I'm sorry about all the wind. Uh, so um, she's just all over the deal. She's, she's around the yellow cake. She's around the, uh, and John Solomon's working this this very very intently right now as we speak there's a lot several other major journalists working this Urenko down to UAE and the shot over the Strait of Hormuz to spinning to we don't know the, the the reactors yet but we do think that it could be several of the ones we've talked about it could be Iraq it could be um, the Ford uh, reactor it could be uh, the, the the ants, the Nance, or whatever that, uh, I can't remember the, uh, anyway, Natance, Natance, I can't remember the name of it exactly, but there's gonna be several reactors in Iraq that she was kind of on the, the thing, she was on the case with her team. So it's kind of this strange situation where they put her in, in Newark, hoping that she wouldn't see the activity going on, she gets, in, in infiltrated into and figures out these international terrorists are coming in and out of Newark. So they move her to Washington thinking, well, we've gotten rid of the Robin Gritz problem. And then she she gets and in, interdicts the uh, Iran nuclear deal problem or the situation. So it really is kind of an interesting thing. We're gonna go back in and find out more, but it really is kind of like walking through American history and uh, this, is, this is not over. This is just beginning.